Hello and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Aaron Porras here with the latest news from Israel. Earlier today, the international NGO Human Rights Watch urged FIFA to condemn and ban six Israeli soccer clubs, referencing their locations being in settlements in the West Bank as unlawful. All six clubs are minor league teams, but this didn't stop Human Rights Watch from politicizing what was supposed to be a sport free from political influence. The Israeli-Palestine County Director at Human Rights Watch said, We are asking FIFA and the Israel Football Association to stop holding matches in unlawful settlements and to simply move those fields to inside Israel where Israeli players can play. The Israeli head of communications at the Israeli Football Association replied to the NGO's call that, according to agreements between Israel and the Palestinian Authority, the land is not defined as occupied land, but as disputed area whose fate will be determined through negotiations between the two sides, not between the two sides and FIFA. A FIFA spokesman being questioned on the subject said that the issue will continue to be discussed with all parties. Using the Greek mountains as a backdrop, the Israel Air Force has been practicing with the Hellenic Air Force in several types of simulated operations over the past two weeks. The Israeli helicopter squadrons involved in the exercise are responsible for transporting units in and out of enemy terrain, as well as performing civilian and naval rescue operations. The commander of the Flying Sword Squadron, a lieutenant colonel speaking under the pseudonym G, said that the Greek mountains are unique for Israeli pilots, and that they serve to create a complex combat arena unavailable in Israel. Following the meeting between PMs Netanyahu and Tsipras last year, both military and economic ties have been warming, and Greek helicopter pilots have conversely trained in Israel in the past as well. While Hamas leaders in and outside of Gaza all boast refreshed arms and readiness for war, the IDF is boasting the readiness to prevent it. With an all-time high of over 40% unemployment and a dismal GDP of $1,725 per capita, Gazan citizens are reporting the highest feelings of hopelessness, and this is worrying to Israel. Though billions of dollars in foreign aid has been funneling into Gaza for years, the money is seen used on terror tunnels and restocking arms, rather than in the schools, jobs, and infrastructure it was intended for. In response to the heightened threat, the Israeli Defense Forces is nearly complete in building the new protective barrier between Israel's southern towns and the Hamas-run enclave. The barrier is touted as a death trap for would-be tunnelers and Hamas agents. Complete with an underground concrete wall to stop tunneling and a sensor-laden fence, the IDF is feeling as ready as ever to defend against a Hamas offensive. Speaking under anonymity, an IDF official says that, quote, if the budget comes at the right rate, then the barrier will be built in a matter of months. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.